Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my long stuff, my grown, extended, beautiful family, um, I hope you're just taking the time out, you know, towards your self-discovery. You know, if you need to take a rest, take a rest. But if not, you know, pay attention to the signs that are coming towards you because everything is starting to manifest really fast. So you have to be able to keep up with the keep up. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please, I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also... If you uh, feel like the video is being very informative to you and it gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times right now, need confirmation or validation towards the life path or soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It is so truly appreciated. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I also hope that you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, I'm listening to one of my Buddha uh, musics again. It's called Remove Subconscious Negative Blocks, Diffuse Negative Energy, Deep Healing Theta Waves. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hell, because new chapter, different perspective. Yes, it's so true. It's like, you know, we have gone through so many trials, tribulations. We don't went in that hamster wheel. We have gone to towards that rotating path of the you know the rotating door that we have been in the same situation for a long time but now since we're heading towards bigger and better or you're already in your net new chapter which if you are congratulations but it's like now once you get into this chapter and it's just like it's not you know what even with my situation it's just anything that's coming out positive i feel like you know some people think well you know this chapter is going to bring off a lot of stuff yes it is it just depends on whatever you're working towards but with my situation i feel like it's abundance not just what monetary value or anything like that but it's like knowledge people i can help people that's helping me you know being a steep student as well as a teacher what are the things that you're learning what are the things that you're looking at you know in a positive perspective what is is this going to bring you growth or is this going to keep you you know hindered in stagnation you i mean it's all how you look at things and it's just like with my situation i you know there's so many times i sit up here and I, you know, I talk to the universe, I talk to my dad, you know, and I say, I'm so blessed that y'all have, you know, pushed me out and did the things, you made me do the things that I had to do, see things for what they truly are. You know, made me mad when I felt like, oh, I'm doing the right thing. And you're like, eh, eh, you're not, you know, <laughs> these are the things you need to let go of. These are the things you need to pay attention to. And these are the things that are forced coming towards you. And if you don't stop, these are going to be the things that's going to come to you and you're not, it's going to be pleasant. But it's like, well, what I was heading towards this new chapter, we're looking at everything is a different perspective that is my blessing when I come in contact with anybody you know if I'm not in my feelings about stuff because you know with us being impasse we hate to see injustice we don't we don't like seeing people being mistreated that's one thing but it's just like like I told y'all in my videos from the other day everybody's playing a part you know you're gonna have the superhero you're gonna have the villain you're gonna have people that are around all this stuff to be able to have that it's going to be a domino effect so it's like everybody's playing a certain part you know so there's going to be drama there's going to be some mishaps they're going to be anger it's going to be you know emotional it's going to be love it's going to be lust all these different things are coming into your life and it's all teaching you a valuable lesson on the things that you know that you're going to need to take on your journey with you and it's like with the spiritual awakening you know we we, we tend to look at it as a negative situation but you have to really truly look at it as in a positive you know milestone it can be hard at times especially you know if you went through certain situations and it like i you know i tell anybody you know i love my love bugs i love y'all from the bottom of my heart y'all have opened up a lot of y'all have opened up and told me the things y'all gone through which broke my heart that y'all went through these things these occurred you know especially if it was a child you know at, in, in your you know childhood age or early adolescence or even some of it still dealing in adulthood you know these can things can tend to you know mess somebody up is messed me up 
you know, because I went through a lot of stuff. And then, you know, it just felt like, shoot, my life was a never ending drama. <laughs> you know, I tend to learn all these different things about myself that was not pretty. But it was it took me a while. It took me almost 30 years to learn the things that I've been going on for 20 some, 30 some years. You know, I'm 42, just turned 42 a few weeks ago. You know, um, and it allowed me to be really, I really feel blessed. I really do. You know, being able to look at things in a positive perspective, even though there's times that I've been in my feelings about stuff because certain things were happening to me and I got tired of things happening to me. But those are the things I was welcoming in. I had the power to stop that, you know, but I didn't. You know, I had to keep going through those things a couple of times for me to say, you know what, <laughs> this is not for me no more. This is not how I want to go about things. So it allows you to be able to pick up on that positive perspective. See, what is this negative situation teaching you? Because it's like all how you look at it. You know, if you just see it as an issue, as an issue, and you keep trying to solve the problem, and maybe it wasn't for you to solve that problem. You only can change you. You can't change the person that's in this, in this role play with you. You can send them words of wisdom, but it's up to them if they're going to allow themselves to keep doing the things that they're doing or they're going to follow suit and be like, shoot, I want to go with them because they're ascending. They're, you know, they're getting blessed. They're doing this. They're doing that. And it's just like my my way. I'm going to think if I know I'm that type of person, if I see what my situation has taught me, what information can I use from my past experience to be able to help others that have these things occurring you know all these different things that are coming you know have really have you know happened in my life and i'm truly grateful for it you know there's a lot of things that i don't understand there's a lot of other things you know when people knew who my dad was they don't understand there's a lot of people that want answers just as much as i do you know it's it's bad when it's somebody that you grew up listening to you know my dad you know he had beautiful music it has helped a lot of people you know get through a lot of different struggles you know allowed them to really see things for what they were that was his blessing on doing that you know a lot of times people didn't know all the things that was going on in my dad's life he is i mean he has done like so many outstanding things i love my dad i'm very proud of him you know he's done a lot of things for other people a lot of things that i really love and admire for that he didn't announce to people you know about what he did it's like when he did things it was from the kindness of his heart of his heart he didn't have to have everybody that they had on mama knowing exactly what he did you know now unless those other people that he did that for you know after he passed then they said a lot of things that my father has done and I was just like, wow, you know, my dad is really cool. You know, he's done so many different things for so many different people. And it's a blessing that he did that. He did it from the kind of his heart, not for doing it just to get something back. He knew what it was to go through a lot of things. You know, my dad opened an orphanage. He helped Trayvon Martin. He's even helped situations with Lauren Hill and many more things, you know, with different charities he's had. You know, all these things that, you know, I, I got my own situation going you know, where I'm trying to push out positivity. I love what I do. You know, being able to be blessed, to be able to have that same kind of energy where you want to see people prosper. You want to see people grow. You want to see that that people love. And as soon as I say that, my phone lit up. You know, all these different things I'm wanting to help people with because I know what it felt like to be walking around blind in truth. I knew what it felt like, you know, to know all these different things were occurring in my life and I had nobody to talk to. Either my situation was too heavy people got jealous or people just didn't want to deal with me period you know I thought I had family I can trust I could not trust anybody I had to go with my spirit guys I had to go with my mom you know people that would have passed on that you know God gave me that gift where I can talk to people on the other side that was helping assist me you know me and my dad are like we got the twin telepathy thing going on so he helped guide me as well you know all these different things has molded me up to be a beautiful person that I my you know I can look at myself and admire what I'm becoming you know I'm not I don't see myself as being a victim of anything I don't see myself being pulling that pity party I want to be that billboard to let you know jacked up things occur in our lives yes a lot of misfortune has happened yes but you are not what has happened to you you know what you are is what is going to happen after the aftermath of what's happened to you what kind of person are you going to be you know there's a lot of people who have went through a lot of things you know and things didn't turn out right you know i've seen a lot of people are dead or they're in jail or they don't commit suicide i was that blessing to be able to use what my situation was the abuse you know the lies the altercations you know the altered life 
you know, all these different things that occurred in my life to be able to help others along the way, to let you know, yes, we have tough things that happen to us, but it depends on how are you going to look at it. You only can walk around so many times saying, this happened to me, this happened to me, this happened to me. You're not the only one things happen to. You know, I have to look at myself like that. You ain't the only one things happen to. You know, just think, you know, yeah, only difference is your dad is a celebrity. Your dad is all this, this is that. There's a lot of people who went through this and their parents weren't like that. You know, it still is messed up. You know, even though I look at my dad, a lot of people don't see my dad as my dad. You know, a lot of people, when they look at celebrities, they see them as these superhuman type folks. But they're just us. They said they got a lot more money. You know, that's it. You know, but they're still human. They still go through things. They still make mistakes. They still get hurt. You know, a lot of things happen, and I think it's harder on people like that because they're in the public eye. You know, so all these different things occur. You know, there's a lot of things I'm learning more about myself. There's a lot of things I'm learning more about my dad, you know, and being able to have that connection with him is so amazing to me because even though he's not physically here, but having him spiritually, you know, metaphysically is beautiful to me because it allowed me, you know, to be able to, step out and take a leap, leap of faith which was very hard for me to do because I felt like when all these things occurred in my life I said where was God when all these things happened where was God when all this happened where was God when all this happened he was there but I had to go through those trials and tribulations I had to be able to experience those things because after all this is said and done I'm still living there's a reason why I'm still here I don't knock on death's door too many times I've been dead and been brought back so many times in this lifetime you know I've I've, I've overdose on you know pills you know I've got hit by a drunk driver and died and came back you know it was like you know the car got crushed I got a whole left side that was crushed you know and basically saved that man's life from actually killing himself and killing many other people because the, the car could have went over you know um, over a cliff and could have went straight into the you know the main highway all these different things have occurred in my life you know if you know I had a cop beat me down knocked all my teeth out on the one side man put a gun up to my head about to blow my brains out you know all these different things have occurred to me and I'm still living and breathing to be able to tell someone about it yeah these things has happened to me you know it's amazing that you know my spirit guides or somebody who's made a big impact in somebody's life or they have set an example. They were one of the 1,044, whatever. But being able to have all these things occur and then me being able to be that witness to be able to tell you, yes, we have jacked up things coming out in our lives, left and right, left and right, left and right. But it's at your point in time, how long are you going to keep letting these things occur into your life? Because these things are teaching you something one way or another. You know, it's just all about how you look at things. You know, I've always heard growing up, you have to let go. My mom always constantly told me, you have to have faith. You know, you have to have faith and believe. I said, how can I believe in something I can't see? Those are the, That's what faith is. You know, when you're going towards a road and you, you get scared, who does it? You, you fear what we don't understand. We fear what we don't see. Because, you know, if faith was standing right here and talking to you, you know, you're like, oh, okay, well, there it is. But then you have to look at all the things in your life that you don't know what has been altered for you to be okay, you know, because it's just like a lot of times you have to think about what did God stop, you know, you might want something in your life, yeah, there's so many times I've had, like I've told you before, if you've been with me for a while, I've had people that know my identity, people knew I was Prince's daughter, nobody said anything, they didn't want me to come into anything because they knew my dad left stuff, my mom had a dying declaration, told certain people, hey, if, my, if I can't get my daughter home, if I'm past you know, I need you to help her get home because the family don't want her, you know, to know who her family is. You know, all these different things occurred. They didn't help me. I was pissed. You know, I cut these people out of my life because I feel like if this was you, you would want somebody to tell you. You know, I feel like it's a God-given right. You should know who your family is. If somebody know, they should be able to say something. But when people tend to look at things the way they want to look at it, and they're looking at it with zeros. They weren't looking at this man really wanted to see his his daughter he has dropped easter eggs in certain songs to let you know he had children you know all these different things my dad never got to experience that you know child giving up for adoption you got another child that had an illness and passed away within the same week he was born or even a week ago you know we in, in that time it was like so many things that didn't occur in my well did occur in my dad's life but still he had to walk hand hung high you know i told him you you 
you good. Because <laughs> if my child would have been dead, there ain't no way I would have been able to give interviews and stuff like that and still act like things are okay. You know, my dad is, you know, put up facade about that. But we, me with being that connected, I knew he was hurting inside. Even though he didn't show it, he felt it. You know, he was going through that. And he was a very strong person. But all these things have occurred in your life for a reason. It's for a reason. And when you can find out what, you know, look at it from a different perspective and see what is this, is this going to grow? It can either make you or break you. It's your choice. On what it's only your you only person that can do that. Even though God, if if He really got that for you, He gonna make you. He gonna keep making you go through it until you finally see: Is this gonna make me or is this gonna break me? Am I gonna still constantly keep going through all the bad stuff, or am I gonna wake up and see like, okay, there's obviously I'm tired of going through this, so I need to be able to look at it in a positive way. What is this thing trying to teach me? What is this I gotta learn about myself? So all these things are coming in. You're going through this new chapter. You have to have this different perspective of it. Because like I said before, you, when you come into something new, you can't get over it and do the same things you did when before you got into your awakenings, before you went through your spiritual awakening. Or you're heading towards a new chapter or you're in a new chapter. You can't go about it how you did before because it's not going to work. It's going to mess it up. Probably even mess it up worse. Mess you up worse and probably take you back. You don't want to do that. So, you know, I ain't trying to preach or whatever, but they when they send this lesson down, I got to be able to tell what y'all what they want me to know or want y'all to know. So, I hope you're able to resonate. Please let me, you know, drop me a line, let me know if you resonate or you're going down this path as well to that beauty of self-discovery. All these different things is, you know, teaching you something that's positive about your life you truly need to know. So, you know, drop me a line, let me know if you resonate. You know, I'm give you a um, you know, drop me a line, give me a thumbs up, share. Tell somebody about the channel, you know, they might need to hear something or whatever, or they might be able to need, you know, need some guidance or whatever. Uh, have, uh, have a blessed, safe weekend and um, send out much love and light towards people that truly need it. You know, you never know what you might say, you know, to do and it might help somebody along the way. So I'm going to give me a post notification notification shout out to lost puppy and gabriel much love to you as well and katie straight much love to you as well also and i will see you on my next video i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend be responsible for everything you do know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days now i'll see you on my next video peace